All right, everybody, we're in Florida currently, and we've been hunting here for four days now. We have not had any action, but some of the people that we've been talking to, some of the other hunters have been having some action. We talked to two different hunters today uh, that shot turkeys, so congrats to those guys. Hopefully our time will come and we'll start running into some turkeys. But this is a video from last season. It was May. Uh, Keith and I had been hunting in Maryland and we called up our buddies Dan and Cam. Dan and Cam are two guys that I've known for a long time. I met Dan in college through the Ohio University Fishing Club and we've been friends since. We've been hunting together for a long time. So those guys have been pestering me about going down there for a while. So uh, it seemed like the perfect opportunity. So we met up with them kind of covered some ground driving and scouting on foot the first two days that we were down there started running some turkeys and then ultimately on day three had a little bit of luck so hope you guys enjoy this video we're going to keep after them in florida here and you'll be seeing some of that action here soon and i'm feeling as fresh as i was on day one i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm sorry that y'all feel like dogs i don't think there's gonna be anybody out today we got a lot of rain like a lot of rain weren't expecting it to be this rainy this morning but it's gonna keep a lot of people out of the woods and it's probably gonna put turkeys in a lot of places that we can see them pretty easily you gotta listen you hear him over these raindrops you gonna talk about your allergies pretty miserable really it's pretty much the worst it's been in my life woke up this morning and couldn't really breathe or see It'll make it tough. Hey, we're both just still out here though, so. This is really what it's about. Just gonna stick to strict car filming. <laughs> all you can do is all you can do. Hey, it's all you can do. I think we'll leave her alone, we'll mark her, and we'll come back. Good news is, they're down. They're down, and they're gonna be. Standing in the wide open. <laughs> you think these boys are going to be out in these fields? Uh, just out here in the unkillable. Just right there. Really? Pretty sure. That's something to keep in mind. One hand laid down because you don't like it. At some point we're gonna have to just go hunting or I'm gonna go crazy, you know what I mean? I don't really like doing this. I just don't know what to do about this pouring rain. That's gotta be Tom's, right? Yeah, I think if you just get on the edge of that field, never call to them, nothing. Just like get in front of where they're going is the best way to get them. Don't you? Use that back access that I think Dan so. was talking about? Yeah. Here, let's turn back around then. Do one of these a little dosy dough here. At least what I would consider a dosy dough. There's two back in that back corner. We could try him. You know? Let's go shoot that turkey. I think we got it in us. I want to do it. All right, so we're going after some turkeys that are deemed by the locals as unkillable. And that's just kind of the term for them just because they're right off the road, right where everybody can see them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have Keith go up and he's gonna park up on the top. But we're gonna come in from the bottom because we're afraid if we go up here, we're gonna have somebody come in on us. Just safety reasons, we feel like you know, a lot of guys are driving around this field looking at this turkey, just like we are. But there's this access down here that we can get pretty close to him. We're just gonna slip in, probably set up, and probably not even call just because these things are obviously getting hunted. They're getting called too. There's been guys out in this field with decoys the last couple days, but there's nobody here today. 
but we're just gonna have Keith go up there, leave the car up on top. Grant and I are gonna try to slip in there and make a play on him. Probably can get pretty darn close to him here, but we're gonna travel light and make a move. I was gonna give him a go, didn't I? I said, are you going after unkillable? He said, we think he's pretty killable. We think they're all killable. I thought so too. Yeah, we just talked to a guy and told him that we were going after these birds. told him that we were going after these birds. He's now up in the field just ripping a call. There's definitely no hens on a day like today just aggressively cutting and yelping 20 times in a row. He's over there. Last we saw the turkeys, they were over there, and I just saw one hen. I don't know where the tom is, but I saw one hen go into the timber right here, about 75 yards out. As soon as he started calling, that hen started looking up, getting like nervous and walking off. These turkeys have been called to. This field is right off of a paved road. People know these things are here. And when that's the case, and you're hunting public land, if you call to that turkey like this guy's doing, it's not gonna work. Last few days we've been seeing this turkey in this field, and he's hanging right out around this corner. He'll be back out here if he ran off. I think this guy will give up when he doesn't gobble after a while. I mean, surely that's the Tom, right? I wanna confirm with the beard before I make a move and then hunt a Jake all day, but. Oh, he just did a snood shake. Oh, he's fired up. My God. We just wasted a bunch of time coming out even. I mean, they're just being miserable out there. But he is a long beard. So, we heard that guy calling. We heard him shoot. And I lost confidence and just basically walked right out of there. We got back to the car got back up here on top, turkeys are still out in the field. That guy was calling a lot, and then he just fired his gun off. So we assumed that he either shot something or he was just shooting to make them gobble. I'm not really sure what sense that makes, but they're still out there. We're not gonna overthink it. We're just gonna go right at a turkey that we know is there. I mean, he's obviously got hens. They're not doing a lot of moving around, but they are floating throughout that field. We think if we can cut the distance and just be hanging around where they are in their bubble, that at some point they'll probably drift close enough to that field edge that we can get a shot. Yeah, they're like in the lawn, but they're like up and back down and up. Get on your tippy toes, you can just barely see them. You might be able to drop back to this timber and get closer.
place him on the top. Exactly what we wanted to have happen, happened. They naturally started coming back. And they went right past in gun range. I just couldn't get a shot is the simple way to put it. I didn't never have a good shot. There's a bunch of turkeys in a group and he was always right at the top of the hill and below and I couldn't see his head. So I'm gonna go back around him, try to get in front of him. They keep going back and forth to these two spots. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to do it fast though. Me out for some reason. Cool footage? Yeah, should be. Right. Got caught in a weird spot. How Wait. far was he? 35, 40 yards. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. He's probably about 40. Uh, how much into the wood line were you? Like 5 or 10. Just using rows. Mm -hmm. Looked up in those two hens yeah. coming back the other way. Yeah. And they started cut, like clucking. Uh huh. And when they did that, he started gobbling. Really? Third time's a charm, eh? Like I'm trying to breed y'all. Slowly, slowly, slowly. The hen in front is headed this way. To be honest, they're all facing this way. Let's just hang loose.
quite a bit. The top three hands are coming like walking, steady neck walking. Too, you know. sure that there's no heads in the way, you know what I mean? That's my biggest issue. See right here, he's by a bunch of heads. My hope is that they come left, but I'm afraid they're going to drop back into that bowl. We're going to lose their chance. See, like right there, I can't tell if I should shoot or not. I don't see all the heads. I don't know if I should call or what. Kill him, I just can't. I'm afraid of the head. Okay, if he puts it up. Got him. <laughs> I 
don't think people will believe that, <laughs> that you shot him. <laughs> Just standing there. Dude, I mean, I, I was running. He, they were about to leave. That, that one drove me up the wall. <laughs> that's that's my bad. I should have spoke up. Did you see him starting to poke his head up? Mm -hmm. yeah, so I cracked. And I was saying, are you going to shoot him? Are you going to shoot him? And you couldn't hear me. I thought you were saying, you got to shoot him. You got to shoot him. And I was like, I know. I know. I'm trying to get the... I had a branch that went over the top of the gun. Let's go get on him. Got him. Yeah, we got him. I'm going to go get on him. <laughs> Kill a bolt. <laughs> well... Grant and I are standing here over this turkey, <laughs> and we're just happy like happy and sad. Yeah, just like happy and disappointed that we could have got more on footage. Yeah, because there's a mis there's a miscommunication. Yeah, right? well, yeah. <sighs> it worked. Yeah, I mean the whole. I mean it sucks, but I like it was a sweet hunt. Oh, it was super really, fun. Really glad we got it. Ultimately, what it came down to is like we got to just get to a spot where we feel like they're gonna drift, and we did it once. I mean, we got up to where we were you know, 70 yards from them earlier, and they came past us once, didn't get a shot at them. Then we get to like 150 yards from them and just sat here. I mean, they crept for hours. I'm glad we did it though. Hey. Oh yeah. First turkey together. Yeah. <laughs> the cool thing too is the locals have been calling this bird the unkillable bird. <laughs> so when we heard that, we're like, all right, yeah, we're going to <laughs> we, we just been watching him past couple days and he, he goes from one one point of the field to the next. And yeah. Just, I mean, they take hours to work back and forth. Uh -huh. And his, his trademark is the... Yeah, everybody even knows this. One missing feather. Yeah, he's all busted up. He's got a busted tail fan. And, like, I've just been staring at this tail fan of him coming across there for, for a long time, boy. And he's very, very pretty turkey. I'm surprised he's as dry as he is after watching him all this morning. He... Sun was looking rough this morning. Mm -hmm. All right, we got Keith here. We're gonna tell Keith the story and we're gonna tell you the story too. So Keith, come along with us and we'll show you what happened. So originally we crawled into this path and we poked out and he was standing up on that top over there. And we moved in here while they were still way out there. I kind of dug out a little hole into here. Come on into our set. All right, so I was sitting right here for a while. This is probably first two hours and 55 minutes <laughs> for a while. of the three hours. So many different times sitting here. We're like looking at the different angles. I had the GoPro here facing me. It's like we had all kinds of time. So sure enough, what happens, they all end up right here. I'm watching him through this gap right here, and there's hens all around him, and he's strutting, and I can tell he's like easy range, but mm -hmm. I just got, I got really no good shot, so I'm not too worried about it. But then it starts getting to a point where it's like, okay, something might go wrong. So eventually we start getting kind of panicked, and you start to make the move. Yeah. Well, I had him like, I could, I could see him when I was like this. <laughs> but I've got the camera, I've got that whole big rig there like just can't get on him i can barely see his the tip of his fan so i was like zach if you want me to film this i'm gonna have to move and the thing is strutting at 30 yards facing <laughs> us and i just see his red head that was freaking beautiful your gun's on him and i'm picturing the shot from behind you so i was like yeah i can move behind you because the wind was cranking i came up like this real slow zach kept saying careful <laughs> <laughs> which is fair <laughs> He did have shoes on at yeah, the I time. Did have, did have shoes on? <laughs> I got, then I got to right here, over the shoulder, on him. Beautiful footage. Uh, hens around. There's just like hens and heads and bodies everywhere. And it's like, I've got a shot at him, a chipper. And I know he's right down the gun barrel, but mm -hmm. it's like, I can't do anything about that. Yeah. So eventually, sure enough, he starts spitting and drumming more and he starts like shifting them away. I'm like, okay, we're gonna have to go to the left. So I moved my gun down, got it around this stuff back to the left, and I'm facing him right here. And all those hens are working this way. He's finally cleared the hens. Mm -hmm. But like, there's now this stuff's in the way. And no matter how hard I push against this stuff, I cannot get my gun far enough over to get on him. And like, I just can't, I can't push it enough. And you'll see, you can see it in the GoPro because I've watched the GoPro. I'm pushing as hard, with, digging my heels into the ground, pushing. <laughs> to try to get a shot at him and like now they're leaving 
Like not because they're nervous, just because that's yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah. So yeah. I start like calling and stuff. He does not even he doesn't no. even flinch. I'm Hens like, looked, but he he was just strutting, wasn't he? He was scratching. He was scratching, then he would strut. A couple times he even gave me a chance, but his fan was in the way. So then I thought, well, the only way I'm going to get a shot is if I come back through this gap. So I got like right to here, and I broke something. <laughs> and when I broke something, he popped his head up and was all the way up. Mm -hmm. And then one of these, this one specifically, was over my bead. In my head, he's going, you got to shoot him. You got to shoot him. You got to shoot him. So I'm thinking, like, he's on him. And I'm, I real quick, like, snap that thing, break it over my barrel, pop my gun up, center the bead, drop him. He, when he looked up like that, I'm on him, but I'm not recording. I'm waiting for, I've got one oh, minute left. Oh. What I was saying, instead of, you got to shoot him, are you going to shoot him? <laughs> so I'm waiting oh, to hit, I'm waiting to hit record so I can use my one minute. So, I feel so bad about not getting it. And when he, I told him when he shot, I just, like, my heart sank. I, I see now. It's one minute, I was on him over the shoulder, framed up. I was like, are you gonna shoot him? I mean, we tried, yeah, we tried that's... real hard at that one today. And like, I mean, we even went through it like five times as a stupid thing. I feel like I dropped the ball, but at like, the same time, trying not to ruin the hunt. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. It was, it was awesome, watching him strut all the way down. Him moving, what, 120 yards maybe? took three hours. Yeah. All right, so these guys are being weird awkwardly in the background. All right, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go back and show the bird to Cam. He just got done with work, so poor guy had to be, be at work all day, so. We're gonna go celebrate with him. Big thanks to both Dan and Cam. These guys have been pushing me to come out here ever since we were in college, and I've been putting it off, and we were swinging through. Figured we'd stop on by and hunt, and then we got here, and we we're like, hey, this is pretty awesome. Pretty great experience here in Pennsylvania. I'm sure we'll be back to Pennsylvania in the future. Thanks for watching this video. Don't give Grant too hard of a time, man. He's he's really beating himself up. Don't give him too much too much uh, crap for it. But hope you liked the video. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.